Upsiders, I'm Danny. Join me as we explore this gorgeous house for sale in Ayala, West Grove Heights. Welcome to this modern tropical home located in one of the most sought after villages here in the south, Ayala, West Grove Heights. Built on a 457 square meter lot with a floor area of 490 square meters, this tastefully designed four bedroom home is a perfect marriage of form and function. Upon entering the home, you will be greeted by this huge wooden door, beautifully designed as well. Of course, with a smart lock system to doubly ensure the safety of your home and of course, your family. And then, if you look here to my side, over here to my left side, you will see that the accent of the door continues on to the wall of the foyer, which I think gives it a very zen, minimalist vibe already. And of course, on the wall, there is a huge round mirror for you to do your self-checks before you head out or, you know, coming in before greeting everybody in the house. You're like, do I look good? Yes, I look good. And then as you look up, you will notice how high the ceiling is. It is measured 6.4 meters high, which again gives the house such a vibrant energy and allows a lot of light to come in to your space. And I think this perfect area over here is just the right area for you to remove your shoes. I'm going to sit down over here. Remove your shoes, disinfect your belongings coming from the outside, of course, coming into your home. Or alternatively, before you head out, you can also wear your shoes here. Make sure that you have everything you need before heading out and yeah that's basically the foyer now we head on to the living room as we enter the living room you will notice the open layout of this space and of course the amount of natural light that just comes in and brightens it up i love the open layout because you just easily see everybody and what everybody's doing at the same time and if you have guests over you can again easily spill over to the lanai the lanai features graphic tiles which really give it its personality and actually the owner loves entertaining and that is why we have a 12-seater dining table over here. The lanai also features beautiful picture windows which again invites a lot of natural light into this space. So if you want to create memories with your loved ones here, store memories, this is a space for you. As you can see here behind me, there are also very big screen doors for airflow. Very great for airflow into this space. If you see here on this side, there is another screen door, which is again great for airflow and also which gives you a beautiful view of the garden. Last but not the least, I think this would have to be my favorite part of this space. Tucked in to these doors, is a mini bar. So from coffee to cocktails, this is a space for you. And if you want to just hide it, all you have to do is close these doors. So amazing. All right, next up, let's see the guest bedroom. We are now stepping into the guest bedroom, which is actually a Japanese style and minimalist very spacious bedroom as you can see. I think there's a lot of possibility for this room, a lot of big walls surrounding it, a lot of big windows also that invites a lot, again, of natural light into the space. But my favorite part would have to be this desk space over here. It starts from this wall and it ends all the way to the other wall over there. This can be a TV console, this can be a study for your guests. It also has storage areas over here. And again, the owner of this house loves paintings, loves art. So the huge walls can do just that for you. Over here you can see, and if you notice that you can put your bed on the floor on your bed frame of choice and you also have two side tables over here and i just want to show you that you also have an option to open your doors because this is a screen door and this gives you a view of the garden outside now this guest bedroom also has its own guest bathroom 
let's see what's inside. So this is a guest bathroom. Feels very spacious. As you can see, you have your vanity area over here, a good sized mirror over there, and into the shower, you will notice that they have a niche in the shower as well. Now walking out of the bathroom, you will see the cabinets over here. So right after showering, this is a perfect area for you to just get ready. This is a good sized closet for you. And if you can see here, I wish you could feel this. This feels really good, but it is laminated, but the finish and the feel is linen. Perfect touch. Let's head on to the kitchen. Welcome to the heart of the home. I know that there's a lot of exciting things going on here and I'm so excited to talk about these things with you. But first and foremost, on my right is actually a staff kitchen, a walk-in pantry, a laundry area, and very importantly, the staff rooms. Now, oh my gosh, I keep gushing over this. So the first thing that you will see in this kitchen, this beautiful kitchen, is this humongous countertop slash breakfast bar slash anything <laughs> you want it to be. If you are the head of the household, this spot right here, I'm telling you, it is a perfect spot for you to be able to see all the corners of the house. You can entertain guests here, prepare your family meals here, have a family meeting here, name it, you can do it on this area right here. The appliances in this kitchen are all Bosch appliances from the refrigerator to the microwave to the oven to the induction stove and the range hood. Bosch appliances, really good quality. And behind me, just a moment of silence <laughs> for this view over here. The sink actually has a beautiful view of the south which i personally adore and love we have screen doors opening up and actually if you want to dim it a little bit you can put down the blinds which is located over here as you can see here on my right you have 3.4 meters of storage space above your head actually so it's pretty high up but there's a lot of things you can store in here over here on my left side are actually soft closing cabinets, which I believe is really good for the acoustics of this household, especially if you're a family of, you know, if you have a family and you have a lot of kids <laughs> running around your house and they want to open and close the cabinets, no thuds, no thuds at all. I think I want to also point out that you can seat up to five comfortably on this bar table right here. So right now there are three, but you can add another two over here. That is the kitchen. Let's head on to the dining area. When you step into this space, I personally feel calm. I feel peaceful. I just feel serene. Look at this, look at this space. This dining area can seat up to eight people comfortably. You can hold your regular meals here, lunch, dinner, breakfast, name it, you can do it here. And again, you are surrounded with big windows and a beautiful view of nature again. Now, you might think it can get hot because of the windows during the day, but my favorite feature of this space are the air vents located here on the bottom, which really helps with the heat. Now, if you walk towards this area, you will notice that the dining area connects to the lanai. Just a beautiful view. Again, if, you're, if you have guests over, you can say hi to each other from both areas and it's just an amazing way of taking the outdoor in. And you can see that this is the theme of this household as well. Let's head on to the powder room. The powder room and storage area are seamlessly and flawlessly located under the stairs, which I believe is such a clever use of space. Let's head on up. Walking up these stairs is such a visual treat in itself because of the solid wood planks and of course the textured walls with a cement finish and last but not the least, the modern light fixture which accentuates the space and gives it the personality it deserves. 
We are now on to the second level of this house and this is the family room. I'd like you to look up and admire the cove ceiling with wood panels. It gives me such a villa or barn vibe which adds to the coziness of this space. Speaking of cozy, the sofa right here, so cozy, can fit your entire family as you enjoy a show on that huge TV over there. And behind me is actually a mini study or office area, which, you know, you can tweak however you'd like. Let's head on to the bedroom. This is the first bedroom on the second level of this house and it opens up to a very light induced space. So you can see windows everywhere. But if you do not want the light to come into your space, these are actually blackout curtains for you to enjoy. Very spacious, very airy. And also, like the bedroom downstairs, this bedroom also features a desk that flows all the way to the other side of the wall. Now let's see the bathroom. The bathroom door opens up like so, which is such a space saving feature of this space. And again, wow, so spacious, so zen, so minimalist. And the shower area is also enclosed. You also get a nice view out here, a nice peek out from the window from the toilet area over there. But don't worry, if you want some more privacy, you can close the blinds as well. Behind you is actually the closet system, which again mirrors the closet system in the bedroom downstairs, which again, linen feel, but textured finish. Now let's head on to the next bedroom. There is a mini hallway that leads to the next bedroom, but before that, this door on my left is actually a storage room where you can store your linen, curtains, all bedroom necessities, and this can be shared by the entire family. Let's head on to the next bedroom. This bedroom is very similar to the other bedroom. It feels a little bit bigger, um, but I want to show you some features of this bedroom as well. So first of all, the curtains are tucked into the ceiling coves, which gives you an illusion of a higher ceiling than it actually is. Really amazing. Another item that I want to point out is the air conditioning unit, which is the same for every bedroom in this household. It is already installed and ready for you to use. And lastly, the CCTV camera, which is again installed in every room of this house. Next up, I want to show you the bathroom. Walking into the bathroom, you will see your full closet system. So it feels sort of like a walk-in closet and bathroom at the same time, which I love because after showering, you're ready to dress up right away. So over here, you can see the shower is tucked in to these glass doors and of course, a wall niche, which you can put your toiletries on. And of course, the toilet is tucked in here very, very nicely as well. All right, let's head on to the primary suite. This is the primary suite. First thing I want to show you is the ante room. Right now, it is an entertainment area, but you can really tweak this and use this space as your own. An office, enclosed by doors, sliding doors so you can't be bothered, or, you know, just a space to chill out. That's the ante room. This next area, I'm very excited to show you. The primary ensuite. Walking into this room just feels like you belong to this space. So spacious, so airy, and you can see the tiles are hexagon tiles. They're quite festive, but also still very muted, which ties the entire space together. We also have woven light fixtures over here, which lights up this island, which can store all your accessories and everything that you need. You also have a his and her sink behind me, and surrounding this room are Solihia cabinet doors. Let's head on to the bed area. Wow, just imagine waking up to this breathtaking view. The primary suite's huge windows give you the view of the south all to yourself. And imagine waking up in the morning and taking this all in. 
This room also connects to the balcony, which is so amazing. Probably my favorite part of the house. Let's see. The balcony is a very spacious, airy, and versatile space for you to hang out with your loved ones, or if you'd ask me, you can also turn this space into a yoga deck or a fitness center. It also has really graphic tiles which mirror the tiles in the Lanai area, kind of similar but not quite the same. If you walk towards this area, you can also find a sink. And here you can set up your kitchenette to entertain or to prepare drinks and meals for yourselves as well. Now that you've seen the interiors of this house, it's time to admire the exteriors. This property features a four car garage, which is perfect for your family. Or as I said earlier, if you want to have guests over, parking space is never an issue here in the vast and spacious Ayala West Grove Heights. Why choose Ayala West Grove Heights? This 400 hectare development by Ayala Land Premier has the most vibrant community here in Silang Cavite. Just a 45 minute drive to Alabang and an hour away from Makati, this village has a total of 140 hectares of open space. There are four parks within the village and three clubhouses. The main clubhouse, Kids Grove, and Sports Center. And best of all, there are several schools nearby. Right across the main entrance of the village is St. Scholasticus College West Grove, and then there's Savior School New Valley, Everest Academy New Valley, and Miriam College New Valley, which is about a 30-minute drive away. Again, this gorgeous house is on the market, price of which is indicated in the description box below. So if you like what you see, all you have to do is reach out to Team Upside through the number flashing on your screen right now. Thank you so much for watching, and if you'd like to see more of these tours, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, visit our website, like us on our socials so we can show you how to hashtag live life on the upside. This has been Danny, and I'll see you again on the next one.